Hi there, uh, 118 Bench Racer here. Uh, just making a, another quick video on uh, this Shelby Collectibles uh, Jerry Titus GT350. Um, I've had this car for a little while. Um, it's been on the shelf, so it is a little bit dusty. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick review on it and uh, put it up and uh, you know see where things go. So the car here is. As I said previously, uh, a Shelby Mustang GT350 uh, in a colour scheme raced by Jerry Titus. Um, these cars were very successful back in their day, obviously based off the, uh, the Ford Mustang. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Shelby brand is pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to go into a whole lot of detail there. It, uh, as you can see it uh, makes for a pretty good shelf model. Um, the detail is not perfect, it's not the most accurate Mustang I've ever seen. Um, but it does have some, some nice little touches uh, which I'll get to shortly. So my first real gripe with this car um, is the fact that this window, as you can see here, has the chrome trim all the way around the outside edge. Now on a Mustang window, that chrome trim is part of the window itself. So as you can see, the window is down, so therefore the chrome trim should not be there. Uh, you can't tell with the uh, the door closed, but for me, it's just one of those uh, little details. Being a uh, an early Mustang owner myself, looking down into the the uh, cockpit now, you can see the interior detailing is quite basic. Uh, the gauges. Uh, uh, very toy-like in their appearance. Um, the overall feel of the interior is very toy-like with this uh, car. Um, certainly not at a level I would expect for a Shelby Collectibles car. So here's a shot from the passenger side of the car through to the driver's side. You can see the shifter uh, is looks to be quite uh, quite uh, well and truly out of proportion to the rest of the interior. Uh, the passenger seat does actually flip forward, not all the way like it would on a real car, but it's a nice little feature. Moving on to the back of the car, uh, you can really see the good good uh, shot of the back window and the air vent which is uh, part of the window um, it's obviously not a standard feature of Mustangs um, of the uh, of the standard Mustang variety um, but you can you can definitely see that it's quite a sizable vent in the back window there uh, and you can also see the uh, the fuel cap has been uh, blocked off uh, with a sheet metal plate. Uh, the blemish on the number here um, was part of the packaging. There was a rubber strap holding the boot down um, and it had peeled up the number when removed from the packaging. Uh, you can also see down here the masking of the paint isn't uh, all that crash hot. Looking into the boot of the car you can see the battery has been removed from the front under the hood to the boot of the car uh, and you can also see a good shot of the fuel filler there as it has been relocated from the uh, exterior of the car. Moving to the front of the car, you get a clear uh, 
picture of the mesh that's been applied to the front of the car which really is a nice touch um, on the rest of the car it's such a comparatively high detail part compared to uh, some of the other um, separately applied, applied parts on the car for instance the hood pins here are not a separate part they are molded into the bonnet uh, here's a nice shot of the wheels and tyres uh, the Goodyear lettering uh, is very crisp and clear uh, the detailing of the wheels is quite good as well with the chrome lips on uh, these American racer style wheels um, the center of the wheel is too shiny for my liking um, being that they should be a cast uh, finish center but uh, again from a from a distance you can hardly tell here is a uh, top-down shot uh, looking down into the car uh, you can see the uh, small block 289 Ford in this car is quite reasonably detailed compared to the previous uh, welly car that I had uh, posted a quick video on um, there is overall it's it's not the uh, the best detailing that I've seen from a Mustang um, but quite good considering the price point of this car which is down into the engine bay here you can see a nice little detail here is the washer bottle uh, which looks to be a printed uh, decal and stuck on to the uh, plastic part there you can also see the uh, fittings uh, for the uh, what would appear to be a transmission cooler So to conclude, um, the uh, Shelby Collectibles Jerry Titus GT350 Mustang, uh, overall for, I paid about 40 bucks for it US, uh, certainly not complaining. Um, if it was a much more expensive car, um, like some of the others in the Shelby Collectibles range, uh, I probably wouldn't be as happy um, but overall it's uh, another Mustang to add to the collection so uh, you know certainly not a raging review but certainly not a negative one either um, but definitely something worth looking at if you do see one come up at about that price uh, that's, that's uh, basically it for now